minus 30. up on T plus two minutes. We're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. We'll be shutting one engine off. That's intentional. T plus three minutes and counting. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. This is intentional. I'm clear. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, now to switch over to the header tank for the one engine. Okay, I'm going to come back up when we hit 10 kilometers, right about in three seconds. Coming up on T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers. We've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. T plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode, beginning the descent back to the landing zone.
Coming up on five minutes, 45 seconds. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. Yep. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned, a beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11.